role of government from the Maston standpoint, um, and, and, and perhaps in a more broadly, it's to be referee, to kind of set the ground rules and to make sure people are playing by them. But space is a little bit more complex than that. And really, we really do believe that the government does have a role as a customer and as a catalyst to help move the technology that has been in the government purview for many years into uh, the private market. We are trying to be a good customer for kind of there's two sides to that. Buying the products we need and buying them in a way that safeguards the uh, taxpayers' money. As far as the government's role in, um, in what we're doing, um, you know, I think probably first of all, it's we need to, I think certainly for suborbital things, I think it would really be cool to continue to, to push um, the uh, teachers in space and things like that with certainly experiments, teachers going out and flying experiments in a suborbital fashion. I can't think of anything more inspiring and personal to the students to be able to be part of that. Um, I can say for the Flight Opportunities Program, we are trying to design the program for getting roughly a flight a week. That means that it is changing quite a few paradigms. How do we prepare payloads for that type of flight rate? Um, how do we sustain that? How do we get the interest? How do we get the industry and the research community building new technologies that we want to fly on this? It opens up a whole bunch of other opportunities, too, where people can try something where they don't know it's going to work but they know they'll get another chance to fly it in about a week. I think the government is going to have to uh, put a serious educational outreach program together that is aimed at doing uh, suborbital experiments and things like that, and we don't have that today. Once you, once Na when, you know, when you think about why NASA exists, one of the big reasons is certainly exploration, doing the hard things, but it's for education. It's to inspire. Um, it really, I mean, that's why the taxpayers are, are, don't mind paying for it. It's because it's an inspirational uh, tool that, that we control. You know, we pay for it because we know that it's, it, you can't, it's, 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 NASA's never going to pay for itself. So what are, the, what are the returns on our investment? Well, there's inspiration, there's, uh, you know, there's doing things that private industry would probably never do because it's too risky. That's... That's, that needs to be done, that needs to be a focus. But I think it's also, you've got to get, keep the kids interested in this country to pursue math and sciences.